Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bigg, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. We want to welcome you today to the joy of music. We have a most exciting program to share with you. My special guest is Sung Suk Lee, one of the leading operatic sopranos in the world, who has sung at the great opera houses all over the world for the past 11 years in lead roles. She has a remarkable story to tell, and I know you will be thrilled with her singing. I would like to open the program by playing a number by Johann Sebastian Bach. Now thank we all our God. This is an arrangement of that great hymn, and in this piece, Bach puts the accompaniment in the right hand and takes the melody in the left hand played on the great golden horizontal trumpets of the organ.
It's a real joy for me on the joy of music today to welcome Song Suk Lee. She is a lyric soprano and for the last 11 years she has been singing lead roles in operas around the world. We really want to welcome her today to the program. Thank We're you. So glad to have you here. Song. Thank you very much having me here. Well, Song, you were born in Korea. Seoul. Yes. In Seoul? Yes. Korea. Yes. How did you come to this country and why? Well, when I was in high school, after high school, I was uh, very active in the uh, athletic uh, field. I did uh, almost all kinds of athletic things. Baseball, softball? No, not the... the they, they don't <laughs> have those. Yes, in the base, yes they do oh, have, they do. but it's for the, uh, the men's uh -huh. thing. Anyhow, but in our high school, we had an uh, uh, excellent uh, chorus. Uh -huh. And I was one of them, and I just joined them. But uh, the music teacher heard my voice, and one day he was very serious, and he said, uh, so I said, what do I want to do for the future? I said, I don't know, maybe uh, I might do some kind of uh, sports. He said, no, you better start learning singing. Oh, really? How to read the music. Uh -huh. So from there on, and I knew that uh, the best music school and the best training I can get is in the United States. Uh -huh. So I came to this country to learn the music. And where did you study? You studied on scholarship, didn't you? Yes, full scholarship plus and living expenses. Full living expenses in my five years at the Juilliard. Oh, and you yes. were there five years? Five years, And yes. then? Then last performance was uh, La Boheme by Puccini. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, the world well-known uh, Columbia Artist Management yes. came to heard. And from right out of it, and I start my career as an opera singer. And so for 11 years, you've been singing all around the world. Yes. These lead roles. Yes. That must be exciting. Yes. What's the most exciting place you've ever sung? Well, I should say that it was all exciting, but uh, it's almost it was the beginning of my career in Covent Garden. Uh -huh. uh, right after I finished singing Butterfly with uh, Carreras, uh, when I had a curtain call, I didn't know that the European way is a curtain call, I mean, a standing ovation curtain call is a little different as our, ours here. Right. And they clapping and their hands are with a rhythm. And they and beat the their feet, do they? Their yes. feet. Yeah. yes. And when I stood there, I realized that they are giving that to me. <laughs> and uh, I was in tears in oh, front I of the curtain. Imagine. And I don't think I will never forget because it's a beginning of the career, especially. Oh, yes. So it ha was very, very exciting. And you have sung at La Scala, too, haven't you? Yes. Oh, wasn't that exciting? Yes. Because that's such a famous opera it house. It is. Beautiful hall, too. Yes. Now, Sung, you know, you sang at the Miami Opera here about a month ago, which is, well, we didn't meet then, but I, I no. spoke with you then. Yes. But there was an article in the newspaper then that I found out about you and I read about you. And it talked about a soprano <laughs> uh, uh, begins a change of, of her life. And it talks about this article, which was in the Fort Lauderdale News. This is a copy. Talks about how you are, have decided to change from opera, and you've been a successful opera singer, to singing Christian music. Now, why would you do a thing like that? Praise the Lord, it <laughs> happened. What really? happened? Well, I happened to make a decision. Mm -hmm. But uh, in order to make the decision, uh, about just about two years ago, I lost my dear mother. And uh, until, I mean, she's suddenly gone. And mm -hmm. then I realized that she was my whole thing, whole being, mm -hmm. whole support, and I was my backbone. Uh -huh. And then also another thing I realized, I watched her, that she was prepared the everlasting life. Oh. Uh -huh. And then I realized when I look at that myself, what am I? Nothing, mm -hmm. but just a singing opera. Oh, but that's what most people want to be. They want to be a success. They want to sing in the great opera houses of the world. Yes. It's not enough. I want it, and I got it. And you got it. I got it, but I need, I need it more. Why? Because this is not only world I'm going to live. I have to prepare my 
future life with Jesus. So now you really want to, to go around the world and sing pieces and music yes. that speak about God. Yes. So you can really bring a witness to the world. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Because of what he has done for you. Yes. I think that's really exciting. He's wonderful. And you love to sing hymns too, don't you? Very, very much. Uh -huh. Most of hymns are low for me. So I have to transpose up and yet I cannot transpose too high because then it loses the quality of the warmth of the hymns. So I have to be very careful, but it's, it's beautiful. I always, it gives me <laughs> tears in my heart whenever I sing the hymns. When Christ shall come with shout of acclamation Take me home, what joy shall fill my heart, then shall I bow in humble adoration. Sings 
sung, you have, uh, it, it's so interesting to say sung or song because that's what you do. You're song. right. <laughs> but uh, uh, the texts of hymns and sacred music mean so much to you as a person, and yet you used to sing. Uh, the, the leading roles in so many operas, and that was exciting too yes, for you, was. wasn't it? Yes, uh, but that was before I was born again. Yes. yes. Which roles were you uh, the best known for? Madame Butterfly. Madame Butterfly, yes. yes. And which other operas did you sing? I did the Bohème, right. Turandot, yeah. Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutte, Don Giovanni, Carmen, uh -huh. and, 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 and I've seen a list of oratorios and everything else you do. Yes. Well, that is really exciting. Can, can you tell us now your plans for the future? Well, my plans for first page is right now here. And uh, should I tell you about the... <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, my last performance in opera was in here, for Lauderdale at the uh, for Lauderdale War Memorial Theater. Uh -huh. With the uh, Miami Opera. Miami Opera Company. And uh, it was uh, one Tuesday. Uh -huh. And uh, before Tuesday, the Sunday paper that uh, my article uh, printed. And uh, I know that uh, I will have some cold shoulders. But, uh, it, because of people that read the article? Yes, because um, See, become a born again Christian, uh, whoever doesn't have the experience doesn't understand. They don't understand. Yeah. So, uh, expecting is a different thing and uh, getting a different thing. Mm -hmm. So, I was very lonely in my dressing room and I thought I would never make my performances. Because no one came to your no. door and, and no. And they usually come to your door yes. and say, you know, good yes. luck and everything. And then, there's a little knock, and somebody handed me a little blue envelope. And when I opened it, it's a letter from Diane Bish. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> and really, I, I cannot describe that moment of that very low and uh, heavy heart to the joy lifted up me. So usually before the performance, I don't make a phone call or anything, but I grabbed my quarter and I dashed to the telephone and I called I you I could up. not believe you called me and you know, uh, I was home that night yes. I, and I was sick and that's the only reason I was home ah. and I knew that you had a performance and I thought, what are you doing? You're calling me <laughs> and you're supposed to be singing an opera and it must have been right before the opera and you called and I was thrilled. Uh, because you excited me because of your letter. that performance made. Otherwise, I don't think I could have made that performances. Well, I th it's, it's and certainly... And also, you open doors for me. Well... And this beautiful opportunity you are giving me. Mm. It's, it's God that, it's certainly, we can say that it is God that opens opportunities if we just follow Him, if Praise we just give Him our lives yes. and let Him show us what He wants for us. And then if we act on it, like you have said, if we, if we act on it, he will give us people to help us. He will open doors for us. Certainly. He will show us the way. And you know, I realize so much what a difficult decision you have made mm -hmm. to stop everything, success and the money you have received for mm -hmm. it, <laughs> and to go out on faith and, and start a new life, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to sing totally for the Lord. and. Yes. I, it's a real inspiration. Thank you. You know and what? When I came to this country with one suitcase, for, with all my mighty, mm -hmm. I made it. Yes. Now, I'm starting new field, not with all my mighty, but help of the Lord. That's right. So I will make it. You will make it. And your singing is exquisite, and God has given you that great gift. And and we just thank you so much for sharing it. And there are going to be thousands of people that are going to hear it, not only um, from here, but as you sing everywhere. But we just pray God really blesses you. Thank you. And thank you for being on the program and sharing this exciting experience and your music. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. thank you. Praise the Lord. And now let's listen again to Sung Suk Lee sing for us.
I would like to end the program today by playing one of the most joyful hymns of the faith. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. In this piece, we use all of the resources of the organ. Starting with a mezzo forte, we begin to add the stops, and by the end of the piece, we have all of the trumpets and all 6,600 pipes sounding at one time. I want to thank you today for joining us on The Joy of Music. My special guest has been Sung Suk Lee, lyric soprano. The Bible tells us to praise the Lord, praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. May God bless you and we look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>